So we're out here trying to get some more information on some of our more elusive marine mammal species. So we have a couple of species out here that are very deep divers. They're called beaked whales, and so we rarely see them at the surface. One of the ways that we study these animals is using acoustics. So we actually listen to the sounds that they make while they're out foraging on these very deep dives. So we've been sampling at two sites. One was off uh, the windward side of the Big Island in Maui, and then the west side of Oahu. There are four species of beaked whales known to occur in Hawaiian waters, three that have been visually verified, the Blainville's beaked whales, Cuvier's beaked whales, and Longman's beaked whales. But the fourth we have heard but have never seen. It is a complete mystery right now. We're out here using some of the technology that we've developed at NOAA called uh, DASPERS. These are floating acoustic buoys that will listen in on the animals, and we have three of them out at a time. And if we can get the vocalizations in all three, we can sort of localize the animals. And at the same time that we have these out, we're doing 24 hours of water sampling using the CTD, in which time we're hoping to get eDNA or environmental DNA samples. eDNA just takes the cells that are in the water, the whale naturally sheds as it moves through, and then we'll filter those out of the water and actually get DNA in that method. And by getting the eDNA in conjunction with the acoustics, we're hoping to be able to learn more about the group composition, sex, ratio, and other information about these animals. Operator, operator, science control, we can bring the CTD up to the surface. CTD on the copy, thanks. Being on the Falcor has been great. It's been very smooth. The staff has been great at uh, figuring out new ways of picking up equipment. So we brought on these instruments that they've never seen before and really figured out a great way of getting those into and out of the water for us and they've been helping us out running 24 hours of CTD cast and making everything run very smoothly. We've also hooked directly into the Falcor's hydrophone that's mounted on the hull so that we could listen in real time for some of the whales. We can't conserve something that we don't know anything about, so the more that we learn about all of these species, the better we can understand where they are and why they're there and how our activities impact them and how we can reduce those impacts.